What's going on everybody? Tactical here welcoming you back to Let's Play Dishonored Definitive Edition. In the last episode we were framed for the... Oops, excuse me. Uh, damn it, I gotta use this again. Uh, we were framed for the uh, assassination of Empress Jessamine and the abduction of Lady Emily. So, and we were... We escaped from the prison and we arrived here at the Hound Pits pub with some loyalists who were trying to take down the Lord Regent. Uh, we got some new gear, but now we must sleep. Yes, I'll go to sleep now. Alright. Somewhere else. Okay. What is this? Of course, I know what it is. Alright, there's no description here either, so. Seems like normal, but. Off. Can't go through there. It's walled off. What the hell? Ah, whoa. Whoa. Trippy. Something's not right. Very trippy. By the way, guys, when it comes to the DLC, which uh, I won't be doing Dunwall Trials, but um, the Bridgemore Witches and the Knife of Dunwall, they are going to be considered part of the Let's Play, but I'm also... Like, I'm going to put them in the playlist for this Let's Play when I do them. But I'm also going to have separate playlists and also a different thumbnail for those. Just letting you guys know that. Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter, Emily, is lost somewhere in the city. And you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. Really? For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I got my orange soda. Who I loves orange soda? I am the outsider. Soda? Tactical and this is my soda. mark. There are forces in the that world so cool. beyond the world. Great forces that I like. call magic. Oh my god. And now, awesome. these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. Alright. Anyway, what I was going to say about that tattoo. Uh, yeah, I know. I know how to blink. So, teleporting, basically. Way to fall in letter. What does it say? Okay, it just repeats the words you cannot save her over and over again. What's in the chest? Piero's spiritual remedy. Alright. Anyway, what I was going to say about that mark that I wanted to wait for the cutscene to do is um, that the mark of the outsider. Oh crap, I fell. I fail. I messed up. Mark of the outsider. I've oh, I don't have tattoos right now, but I do plan on getting some. And eventually, I'd like to do like a full sleeve that's all video game, real like stuff. It's Emily's letter, Corvo. I am very sad. They say you're dead, like mother. But I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river, because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it. So please come for me if you can. Um. But yeah, eventually, like, they get, like, a full sleeve. It's all video game type stuff. And one of the things I'd eventually like to get put into it is the Outsider's Mark. Somehow. Like, in a unique place. Like, instead of on my hand. Because I've heard the top of the hand can hurt, like, living hell. And I do not, I do not have that kind of pain on me, so. What the hell? The void, but it looks like Dunwall. What is going on? Um, yeah, that's a, that's something I'd eventually like to get. Of course, as with any sleeve, you don't do the whole thing in one shot. You know, you just add on to it. But I had just I'd have to figure out what references or characters I'd want on. In the sleeve, you know? In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this the heart of a living thing molded by my hands. 
With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Okay. Yes, I know how to use the quick access wheel. I don't know why it keeps telling me. Alright, we have the heart, but what's in this chest? I know. Oh, another remedy. But, now, speaking of tattoos, I want to know, do you guys have any tattoos? And if you do, instead of just, you know, saying you have a tattoo and what it's of in the comments, I mean, you could do that too. But if you have Twitter or Instagram, post a picture of the tattoo and tag me in the post. I'd love to see it. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't use my sword. Well, I guess I gotta go in here. Ow. But yeah, I'd love to actually see your tattoos, especially if it's video game reference tattoos. That I'd really love to see. Is there anything else in here? I never. Okay. Yeah, if you've got any video game referencing tattoos, definitely post it like on Twitter, or Instagram, or something, and tag me. In there. If you know, and if if you don't already follow me on Twitter or Instagram, uh. The links for that, for both of those, as well as my TikTok, are in the description. Down below. Runes and acquiring powers. Once you've collected some runes, open the journal, go to the powers section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. So let's do this. There's only two we can get, dark vision or vitality. I'm taking Vitality, because I, every time I play this, even on easy, I die quite a bit. So, the more health I can have, the better. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Awesome. Me being, me being somebody who wants to do, to be a, you know, I'm uh, not a cosplayer, but an aspiring one. Basically meaning I want to do cosplay, I just don't have the means or money to do it. <laughs> Corvo is somebody I'd like to do a cosplay of. One day. That's probably a lot of money's worth of stuff to get to be able to have that costume, including the mask. And also having, like, either finding, like, a temporary tattoo or a way to or like something to trace it all right now this is all a deal this stuff comes with the definitive edition so if you don't have the definitive edition you're playing on like xbox 360 or something or you just don't have the dlc you're not going to have this stuff right at, after you leave the void but i do it's money a book some bone charms which basically can give you perks uh, and some other valuables like artifacts and stuff. Bone charm, bone charm, more money. An artifact, another bone charm. I'm picking all this stuff up now. Artifacts. Now I don't know what these artifacts do. I, it doesn't turn to money it seems. It gives you the bone charm symbol when you pick it up. So I don't know what it does. If there is anything it does. Um, I think that is everything. Let me go into where my bone charms are. Okay. Drop assassination gives you a bit of health. Enemies miss more often with arrows and bolts. Swim speed increased slightly. Breath capacity of water. Uh, moderate keyhole peeping magnification. Okay, I want delicate touch. Uh... Let's see. That one I want. Reduce damage from explosions. White rats won't attack you. Power effect slightly improved. I'll take the good lungs. Quick dodge. And... Firewater. Alright, that should be enough... 
and it still leaves me, I think, with one slot open. But I just don't know what the uh, artifacts do. I really have no clue. I don't know if they're just. Yeah, I guess they're worth. I guess they're money because now we have like over two thousand uh, coin in our inventory, so we can get plenty of uh, upgrades. But he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore. Long, huh? Or that's what he says. Right. Says he I didn't was in the navy I didn't long. go far enough downstairs, but oh. these rooms here, some of these there, rooms have important it's a stuff. Built from an old like a decor plate. There's a hundred. Find these people, I wonder. Gold. Uh, there's another pouch with some money in it. Wallace. Uh, ooh, tartlet and powdered crystal is worth money. None of these paintings are worth anything in here let's check here I know there's some I don't I mean I don't really pay attention to what the books say I don't know if I should is that a coin attention that Dunwall a coin. citizens and that Be is a pouch full of coins the river crust infestation has spread down river uh, as far as the river mouth and hair. flooded district there's that do not attempt to approach or Nobody's destroy in the bathroom. river crust any items recovered I'm from doing worry about so the books. are considered state I'm really not. property I mean, I, Alright, that goes that way. There's one more door to check. Ah, hello. Move, Cecilia. I know he's got have money stuff that's worth money in here. This is Admiral Havelock's room. Uh-huh. Processed whale oil. And a pouch full of 25 gold 25 coin. Anything else? Nope. That's it. Alright, let's get out of here. Head downstairs. Go talk to Admiral Havelock. First, let me see if there's any more stuff back here that's worth money like we found last episode. Nope. Nothing. Admiral? Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Sorry about the lagging ones your again, guys. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Okay. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hell Pits. You got it. Uh, Lydia? I had a sailor for oh. a boyfriend once. He she, thought he'd strike gold those digging women, in the Pembisian cliffs. Yep, she's over cliffs. there. First, I want to go talk they to Piero. They found Piero. a ship drifting in. Uh, what's this? Ooh. Star chart. That's money. Uh, where is Piero? It's no herbs. That's pure, that is money. Uh, let's see, does he have anything in here? No. Ooh, Piero's workshop key. Thank you. Does he have anything else lying around of value? Doesn't seem so, so let me get some What upgrades. can I do for you? Let me get some upgrades from Piero. Alright, I'm gonna need some crossbow bolts, some sleep bolts. And bullets. I don't need spring razors. I'm gonna buy some rewire tool. I'll buy all nine of them. Buy two more of these. You can even buy runes. I don't need any grenades. I want some upgrades here. All right. Let's see. I'll take the combat sleep dart upgrade. They take effect quicker, and that's always good to have. But rewire tools are very important to have, and they're not easy to find. 
at all. Oh, Corvo? Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Okay, so we just got an optional mission, which is spare Captain Kerno. Alright, I can do that. Let's head out. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Oh, I'm ready. Let's do it. Alright, guys, and I will be right back. Alright. High Overseer Campbell. We're in the Distillery District. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal, and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalists, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. Perfect. We're going to be coming back here a few times, actually. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead in the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. There are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Alright. So we have a few things to deal with here. Actually, and believe it or not, there are side missions in this game. No, you know, it's just... You know, yep. Uh, uh, Granny Rags, that's an optional... Come on, come over the damn thing. That's an optional mission to do. What is this? Arthur's note. Dearest Gwen, the city is going to burn. I've sold everything, so there's nothing for me here now except you. I'll wait for you where Clovering Boulevard crumbles into the river, where we used to meet. We'll take the money I've made and bribe our way onto a passing whale ship. I won't leave without you, and if you won't come, I'd rather be rat food. Love, Arthur. Damn. That's a mission clue. Wait a minute, I gotta read this. Someone named Arthur is waiting for a woman named Gwen at the end of Clovering, Clavering Boulevard with his life savings. Alright, we're immediately gonna have to go stealth here. Alright, let's pull out the sleep darts. Alright, he's down. Let me make sure there's nobody else around. This game, you know, it's pretty key on stealth, really. You know, stealth is key for the most part, but. One, two, three. Good. Keep them coming. Alright, they're down. Sleep darts are the better way to go. I know you're somewhere around here. The more people you kill, the higher the chaos, especially if the body's are detected. Uh -huh. Make it three more months. I know you're here. Somebody's looking for me. You won't stay in for long. There, somebody's really looking for me here. I don't know where they are. I can't see them. I hear them. Just can't see them. And it's driving me nuts. They're up there, likely. Very likely they're up there. You s and whoever that is, you saw nothing. I'm 
and I could Attention just take that person citizens. out, but... John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Uh-huh. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. I get that. See, if I go right up here... Oh, there he is. Down. Just take them all out. That's what I do is I go... I, I prefer to use the sleep darts rather than killing. How did it pass me by? All the others down with the sickness. Alright. Alright, let's do this. I know there's a rune or bone charm nearby, but I want to rewire this. There we go. So now anybody that goes through that's not me will instantly get basically vaporized. Help! Ah, shit. Oh, great. People are getting people are getting hysterical because they're finding bodies. That's one thing is I'm not good at hiding bodies. You know, taking them down, fine, but I'm not the best at hiding them. I'm just looking... Flavoring Boulevard. I'm looking for somebody named Arthur, to be honest with you. That's what... I've never even read that note. I've never seen it, so I don't know... Who that is. But it looks like it'd be over here. There's a fire over there. Hmm. I don't know. I've never done this, so I don't know who to look for. Or what to look for. So I'm just gonna keep moving towards my objective and maybe we'll come across whoever it is I'm looking for maybe it's down this way all right let's see well real quick though everybody I'm gonna take a stop here attention watch to give you guys a quick little word from one of my channel sponsors be right back what's up guys this is my new sponsor, Rep Sports. They are the makers of Raise Energy. They are the energy drink I go for. Now, if they have other stuff as other than Raise Energy, but check this out. They got Raise Energy. This is good stuff, guys. Zero sugar, zero carbs, zero crash, zero calories. They have it in all kinds of cool flavors. They have it in Voodoo, which is like a uh, orange flavor. Apollo is like a cherry. Galaxy Burst, I still haven't figured it out yet. They have guava mango, strawberry colada, sour gummy worms. I'm not kidding. That actually tastes like sour gummy worms. Watermelon frost, grape bubble gum. Phantom Freeze is like a lemonade or a limeade. You, there's two variety packs and Baja Lime. All, I, I'm, and all cool products. They also have... Uh, they also have... Pre-workout stuff. They have... You know... All kinds of different products they have cool merch as well guys very cool merch they have uh, the flags phone cases koozies shirts hats different uh, and I think and they your shirts I believe go up all the way to either to 3x or 4x so if you want to so uh, support the channel there, just at when you're at we're at sports.com at checkout. Use the code Tactical Gaming, just like my channel, and you will get 15% off. Thank you very much, guys, and thank you so much to Rep Sports for sponsoring my channel. Have a great day. Join the Rays Rebellion. All right, everybody, I'm back. All right, I'm going this way. I'm looking for somebody named Arthur here. Garbage, 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 all of it. Who the hell? Who the hell? Granny, 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 come out with me and say, There's granny, granny rags. Granny, you can't. Hmm. Well, I want to do that now. I mean, it's a good way to get runes, but I'd re I mean, I only got, I got less than 20 minutes left on top. I've only gotten 20 minutes in. So, I'm thinking... At least for this video, try to stick to the main, because if you're trying to be stealthy, it's going to take a while. And I just, I don't know the best spots to cut and everything right now. I, they just come to me as they happen. The hell? That's not what we heard. It was just a cold. Are you sure? Hey. Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an... 
Cross the line. There we go. Let me just take their stuff. Anyone there? Yo. Buddy, I saved your ass. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Perfect. So now we have a place in the city, uh, somebody in the city we can uh, buy from. That we can buy things from, say we run out of ammunition or whatever. He had some money in here, so I took it. Sorry, buddy. But if I'm going to sell you anything, I need money. Alright, that's empty. Where's that guy? Where is he? I just saw him. And he must have left and gone, moved, gone areas. First, I want to see if there's anything over here that's worth money. No. All right, Griff. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Yeah, let me see what you've got. He's got blueprints. Let's see. Cool. Uh, low on sleep darts, so I'm gonna buy one. Yeah, screw it by two. Alright, now I'm good on sleep darts. So now let's continue moving on with the mission. Not be open at this time. Anytime. No problem, Griff. Alright. We're trying we're gonna try to go to the high ground. Let's stick to the high ground as much as possible. Get seen as little as possible. Alright. Clavering. Alright, we're at Clavering. Now we gotta get past the second wall of light. Here's where Blink's gonna come into play. Perfect. Top. Perfect shot. Can't go through there. I'll go that way. I really don't want to be seen, so I'm actually going to have to go back this way. And make a quick run. Let's go up here. Because there is a way to get past that wall of light without being seen. I've never done it uh, without 100% being detected or a body being found. So I'm, I'm going to try my best here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now comes the hard part. Actually getting down there without being freaking seen. Alright, I gotta figure this out. Uh-huh. See what happens, you dumbasses? They're killing themselves. What's this? A health, a health elixir. Sweet. If I could take this guy down with the sleep dart from here. Perfect. Now the other guy's gonna obviously come inspecting because there's somebody looking. I'm gonna see if I can get him in crosshairs. Come on. Walk right into my crosshairs, stupid. Dumbass. You know what? This guy over here, you can see me. Take him out too. Perfect. Now let's blink down to the surface. Oops, I hit a post. I hit one of those sharp pointy posts. Shit, there's another one. I hear somebody, but I don't know where they're at. Boom. Wall of light. something here. Regular bolt. I see some of those. Uh-huh. Cause a little ruckus. 
shit, there's a lot of them. Alright, this is gonna be difficult here. But, I'm gonna try to take them all out. I'm gonna do some killing here. But, it um, looks like it's working. Ooh! Took his hand right off. Dead. I think I used all my freaking bolts just to get rid of all those guys. But, I got some of them back. I'm gonna get some of them back. Got past the second wall of light. Now I've just gotta get some bolts back. And all that kind of stuff. Man, I wasted a lot of ammo. That's not good. It's not good to waste your ammo. In this freaking game. At all. And you know what? See, if I if I had a way to be stealthy in this situation, I would have come over there and rewired the alarm. Oh, and there is a way. I didn't even notice this freaking pathway here. Damn. Right, let's take that. Take the food. We've got a... a little thing and a, and a rune. Here we go. We found one of seven in this area. Dark vision. I don't want it. I don't want... I don't like dark vision. I never use it, so... Let's continue moving on. Ooh, another rewire tool. Thank you. Alright, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna do some lurking around, and I will meet you guys in a, once I get uh, once I get closer to somewhere more significant to the mission here. All right, guys, I'm in Holger Square, and I we see the objective for Overseer Martin. There's an overseer in front of him. We're just gonna walk right up to him and choke him out. Is that true, or is it the itching? There we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. And loose. Ooh, a grenade. Overseer Martin. What a sight you are in that mask. <sighs> All right, we got Martin out of there. Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find him. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I, I won't can't. be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. You got if it. If I see Samuel the boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard. Got behind it. Behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemies head. All right. Can't go through the door. So we're going to use Blink. And try to get up there easily. Perfect. Pure perfection there. Oh, great. More Have overseers. And uh, there's only one direction I can go here. Used. No. Search the archive. Occurrence. Hmm. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order. Uh-huh, branding instructions. Perfect. I gotta figure out how to get out, get over there without being seen, which is damn near impossible. So, I'm gonna make another cut, guys, because we are getting close to time here, and I want to try to get... I want to try to finish this in this video, which is gonna be difficult. Some of these missions are long as hell, so... Be right back. Alright, guys, I'm in the office of the High Overseer. Branding instructions are this way. Interrogation room. Perfect. I ever tell you, one time one of the second floor shutters got stuck on it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I just gotta be quiet and get to these branding instructions. That's the one thing I want. I never knew about them that th until now. They're in the archive. So I'm heading to the archive. I will get these instructions. Back to the beginning. Shit. Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. But why Corvo? The one man feared throughout the Shit. Empire. Shit. He's as bloody mind. They say. I have to do something drastic here. Bodies, and the way he dodged the axe, we can't rule out black magic. <clears throat> he had help, yes, but how far does it go? Let me see if I can take him down. Martin, but Martin. Don't guard for me. 
Shit me. Let's just get rid of these guys real quick. I'll meet you guys after I've gotten the thing and I'm close to the high overseer Campbell. This is why it takes a while. Alright guys, I've made it, so... Let's see. I could switch the poison to Campbell's side to have him killed. Or I could take him out. Or I could spill the glasses. Or poison them both. I'm gonna end up attacking Campbell so I could do the heretic brand. So I'm just gonna spill both the glasses. There we go. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hold up in all this. There's a room below me, but I'm not waiting to go get it. I'm waiting for them to come in. And if Circle of Health will too. I hope you won't this business pass all the quicker. Money. One of the servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. Well, come on, walk through, walk through, damn it. I don't remember which door they come ah, Here we are. Now if come you on. Me, men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Hold on, Thank I want to get behind Campbell here. What a... Wait. Damn you! Who are you? Car Damn it! I screwed up, I screwed up, I screwed up. Hold on, hold on guys. Well, I couldn't get him to the interrogation room, but I did kill him. I should have done something about the freaking glasses or something, but now there's a secret passage way. Oh, I gotta get that book. Perfect. Let's get the hell out of here. Ooh, looky looky. A Sokolov painting. And... Uh, a room... Anything else worth taking in here, or do I have to go out the other way? Ooh, a, sleep, a couple sleep darts. Alright, looks like I have to go out a different way. Yeah, because I can't get out this way. Ooh, there's a coin. There's a coin. Alright. There's got to be a separate way out of here other than that door. The kennels. Alright, well, I'm going to meet you guys where I get when I get to Samuel. Alright, I made it to the backyard. I got out of Holger Square. I almost, I mean, I almost didn't make it, you guys. But, uh, yeah, I went out through the kennels and a sewer area to get close by, and then I went up and over to get to the door. Uh, it's, it's pretty hectic. This first mission is pretty hectic because there's so many different ways to go and so many easy ways to get caught. I, I made a screw up. She's not a witch. I know her. I made a big screw up by spilling the glass. You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. Let me take these guys All out real quick. Must burn. Bertold, don't let them take me. I swear I've done nothing. Hello? You're gonna bleed, damn you! I saved your sister, fool. You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. Exactly. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. It's I fine. must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. Really? There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. The bunkhouse? What bunkhouse? There's a bunkhouse? Wait, what? Where's the bunkhouse? I don't know where that is. Oh, looky, looky. Another overseer. Dumbass. Yeah, just go to sleep. Bunkhouse must be nearby. It must be. Oh, you okay. Remember that combination, guys. I'm, I, in case I run into the boat, uh, bunkhouse again. Oh shit. Almost got seen. 
and then he's got one of them dogs with him. Yeah, I don't care if there's a ring of bone charm nearby. I'm not frick I'm not screwing with any dogs. Unless I have to. Got him. Crap. Well, I'm screwed. Because I have no way to get you without shooting you. Got him. Stupid dog. Now who the hell? And screw you. Decapitation. Now. Please, I'm trying to work here. Leave me the hell alone. Bunch of jackasses. Said there was a safe in the bunkhouse. That's what I want, is to get in the safe. And I want to do it safely. This must be it. That's a workshop. Well, I'll head in here. There's got to be something in here, too. I hear a... I hear a rune or a bone charm. I may end up going over the 45 here, but I'm trying to get what I, I'm trying to get money and other shit together, and I want this rune or bone charm, whatever it is. I think this doors are workshop chest key needed. Seriously, where's the damn key? Uh huh. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Now you. I'll take that. Exploding house. I think it said exploiting house. What the hell? Chest key needed. Of course. I don't care. I really don't care, but I'm taking bolts. I'm taking money, grenades, whatever I need. Perfect. I want the bunkhouse. There it is. This is the bunkhouse. Crap. I've been seen. Let me just die, some bitch. Hey, get off me. Damn dog. There we go. There's a safe in here, I was told. And I want the safe. I want to open the safe. Ooh, money. I'll open the safe and then I'll go to sand. Was I just spotted or something? Very, very sick. Uh-huh. Sure. They're in here. Let me take these guys out. I'll meet you guys when I get back to Samuel. To Alright, I finally found the safe in the bunkhouse. All it had in it was some sleep darts, uh, some stuff, some of that remedy for mana, and a little bit of gold. But still, the sleep darts help. And we are we finally met back with hey, Samuel. Corvo. It's Samuel. Let's get out of here. From the way I hear it. Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's get the hell out of here and get back to the hound pits. Okay, let's go. Everything else I've got to deal with is... Oh, well. I'm not dealing with granny rags or anything like that. I'd... See, if I was to do every single mission, I would have to cut a lot of stuff out. Hey, I found only Sokolov painting. Cool. And I found it just by following the High Overseer trying to kill it. But if I would have liked to do all of it, it would take, you know, and try to do as little cutting as possible, it would take like over, well over an hour. So, that's why, you know, I kind of rushed it. You know, this mission's pretty long. Anyway, let's get back to the Hound Pits and then I'll end the episode. Martin is on his way to join the Loyalists, and Campbell's fate has thrown the Overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseer's journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location to the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Well... 
I will be doing that in the start in that next episode because we are cutting real close here. First, let's talk to, uh, oh, what's her name? Oh, uh, her name. I already forgot her name. Let's talk to her first. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. All right. I spared Captain Conroe. Oh, Callista, that's her name. Yeah, he, he's lucky because he did attack us. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, do me a favor. Hit, uh, hit the like button. Drop a comment on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Turn post notifications on. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links are in the description down below. Oh, excuse me. Thank you so much to Rep Sports and Fatal Grips for sponsoring the channel. If you guys would, please check them out. And if you decide to purchase something, don't forget you can use the to use the discount code Tactical Gaming. It, that code works for both Rep Sports and Fatal Grips. Rep Sports will get 15% off. Fatal Grips will get 10% off. That way you guys will save some money on some awesome products, and I'll make a little bit of money, which will go towards uh, improving the channel as a whole, buying new games to play for the channel, etc. So once again, have a great, uh, thanks for watching. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.